what's going on guys we're going to take a little look at amd so today uh pretty much a frustrating day in the markets okay uh reason being you know we're not really going higher we're not really going lower uh we had a little bit of an intraday kind of you know i mean we could call it like you know a little bit of an intraday rally right it was right around this point here market was kind of chopping around for a while maybe about an hour and a half two hours ago uh, and then, you know, realistically around 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, market started to rip, right? So when this market started to rip, it brought a lot of stocks higher. The stock we're looking at here is AMD, kind of came up to the day's high, uh, you know, still a little bit below that pre-market low, you know, very aggressive candles. If you caught that trade on a scalp, congratulations. I was kind of staying back, not too, you know, focused on the long side of things right now, waiting for things to kind of set up and, and roll back over to the downside. Uh, definitely am more short biased, you know, at least until we get through this FOMC meeting tomorrow, um, you know, because there's not a lot of follow through. If we can just kind of see, look at this chart from a macro kind of point of view, right? And actually, let me bring up my, uh, my drawing tool here real quick, just to kind of make something a little bit more uh, clear, right? So, you know, realistically, if we take a look at this initial flush and then a bounce and then we're back down testing this low again for the second time you would imagine that this next time we bounce right we're going to take out the highs and now start to build above all right well that does not happen okay so not only do we get an initial washout we get the bounce we get the back test and then we get the second bounce now we get rejected again for the third time and then we start to trickle in the middle of the range. As we started to rally here in the middle of the day, okay, as we started to rally here, this was looking like a clear indication of a breakout. Maybe the bulls are gonna step up, maybe they're gonna kind of run this market higher, things are starting to approach those high of days, take out those pre-markets, and we quickly wick above it and then get rejected, okay? So as we got rejected, it was a very harsh and aggressive sell-off However, back to the middle of the range, you can see touch point here, here, as well as here, okay? We still have this low of day that we held two times here as well. We've got a nice floor going on here, okay? And we've got a clear line in the sand to the top side up here. What am I trying to say? is that there's really no macro trade on AMD until it gets over $88.90, with then it's gonna have room to around 90, and you really don't have a trade until we break down below 86.50, that's gonna give you maybe 50 cents down to 85.93, and your macro trade to the short side on AMD is the break below 85.95, 85.93, let's call it right there, somewhere in between. Um, other than that, you know, as hard, as it is to do, it's really a time where, you know, when you're kind of watching the candlesticks and you see big moves up and you see moves down, you see sideways consolidation, it, it just gives you the impression that something's happening. It gives you the impression that something's going on when realistically the, the market is going sideways. It, the stock is not, it's the stock, you know, was here, it was here, it was here, and it's ended up in the same place it was four hours ago so you know even with all the price action it, it does seem like it's going somewhere however until we break out to the top side or break down to the bottom the stock is just flatlined now if you are a scalper there's potential to make trades okay uh for example this was a good move here gave you a little bit of a pop um you know this one here gave you a little bit of a pop as did this one, gave you a little bit of a drop as well. But, you know, when we're really talking about, uh, you know, scalping, we're looking at $86.95 down to a low price of $86.44. We're talking about 30, 40, 50 cents. Guys, ranges have been contracted, okay? These ranges are tight. Even when you're getting these big aggressive candles, it's not moving for much, okay? There's not a whole lot going on. Let's sit back, let's be patient, let's wait for the 85.93 break to the downside. Let's go ahead and short that. Let's go ahead and take it long if the market decides it wants to ramp up over $88.90. I know this video was a little bit of, you know, all over the place. Um, but 
it is what it is. There's not much really to report on. The stocks are going sideways.